Now loyalty, yesterday we did second basements. If you've missed any of these episodes, you can just go ahead and click on the channel, click playlist section and positional tier list. That is going to be the playlist that you're looking for. Go ahead and start off with the catchers if you wanna watch it from day one of these new Team Affinity season three diamond cards, and then you can go ahead and progress from there. Now I also wanna clarify one thing before we hop into this video, because you're gonna be seeing a lot of players that play third base as a secondary position. Just because they are taking a defensive hit and whatnot does not mean that they are not better than those that primarily play third base. Despite them taking those defensive hits, they are still better than those that prioritize themselves as third basemen in terms of primary position. So you would still want to play these guys above them because they are just that much better than them. Another thing is, if you have someone that appeared in the second base tier list as not top three but appears in the third base tier list as top three and you don't have any of the other third basements available then clearly he's going to be the best third base option that you have available in order to have the best lineup and best team overall despite yes them taking a defensive hit whenever they play their secondary positions now without further ado let's go ahead and start with number seven and an honorable mention that i 100 want to see in a tier list but he just never makes the cut for top seven is nicholas castellanos he would be coming in at number eight at his secondary position of third base he would be coming in at number eight but number seven is going to be rafael devers he has great contact against right handers and then versus left handers it's doable it's good enough the power once you parallel him up to parallel L2, it's going to go ahead and meet the 80 threshold. The 83 vision should translate to Hall of Fame. It should translate to Legend. Once you super fracture him, the 75 fielding will go to 80, making him a gold fielder. And then the reaction at parallel 2, he's going to have gold reaction at third base. So his reaction is going to be good no matter what. The 91 arm strength is what really surprised me out of Rafael Devers. I did not know that man had a cannon at third base. And then the 63 speed, I feel like they juiced that up a little bit. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'll take a speedy third baseman over a non-speedy third baseman. Now, as I said previously, we're going to have a lot of players cracking this list that don't play third base as their primary position. And one of them is going to be Jay Cronenworth. You're getting yourself another lefty. This time around, he's going to have better contact against left-handers than Rafael Devers. He's not going to have better power than left against left-handers than Rafael Devers. But once you parallel him up to parallel four, he is going to meet that 80 threshold. The vision is also a whole lot nicer. Therefore, it would go ahead and translate better to Hall of Fame and Legend difficulty. And since he already has over 100 contact, contact and over 80 power the power attribute doesn't really matter versus right handers and then the contact attribute Rafael Devers is going to have the better PCI but this is why I say that even these guys playing at their secondary positions are better than those that play primary third base the fielding despite him taking a defensive hit it starts off at gold he's gonna have better fielding than Rafael Devers he's not gonna have a better arm strength at 77 as opposed to 91 that should be pretty clear but the reaction he starts off at an 87 you take away four let's say and he's gonna start off at an 83 you still start off at gold reaction and 83 speed is a whole lot faster than Rafael Devers Jake Cronenworth is gonna come in at number six and now we're going to another player that plays third base as a secondary position that's going to be Trey Turner as I'm telling you all you're gonna want to find a spot for most of these players that you see constantly appear inside the infield the reason why you want to find a spot for these players is because they are currently the best cards in the game so you need to have them out there if you want to have the most effective team possible trey turner the contact is amazing the power is amazing it meets the thresholds and the vision is also pretty good it's gonna 100 translate to hall of fame and easily it should translate to a legend difficulty as well now despite him being a better hitter all around than rafael devers this is where he takes a hit at third base. Him going ahead and playing third base as a secondary position is going to bring his fielding down to bronze until you parallel him up to parallel two. Once he's parallel two, it's going to go back to silver. His reaction, you're going to have to parallel him up to parallel four for it to go back up to silver. Other than that, he's going to be playing as a bronze fielder. But at third base, hot corner, you don't really need great fielding. It does help out great reaction, but great fielding is not 100% necessary. The arm strength at 73, it's going to be doable. But this is why Trey Turner compensates for himself being a bad fielder and having bad reaction. 
that 99 speed is going to be able to make up for it more times than not in terms of fielding plays in general and showing range and whatnot so that's what makes trey turner a whole lot better than rafael devers and a whole lot better than cronenworth his hitting ability his speed and the speed compensates for the bad fielding it's just that simple when you look at things and looking at another shortstop that can play third base and someone that a lot of people were telling me they had great success with shout out to ya because i just from some reason cannot hit with him wander franco is another great uh, option to go ahead and place at third base he has everything you want in terms of the power in terms of the contact similar to trey turner what makes him even better is the fact he's a switch hitter the 106 vision as i said it easily translate the 87 fielding will probably drop down to 83 it's never going to hit diamond fielding but it's going to start off at gold and then the 86 reaction will probably drop down to 82 it's never going to hit diamond reaction at third base but it will stay at gold which is perfectly fine as well 92 arm strength more than enough for third base and then the 84 speed he basically is Trey Turner as a switch hitter with much better defense that's why he comes in at number four now going to the top three we are going back to third base for number three and number three is going to be Chipper Jones now you can subtract four from each and every single attribute because we went ahead and paralleled him up to parallel four you should know already this card is a cheat code he's a switch hitter he has the contact he has the power he has the vision now his fielding it starts off at silver if you subtract four it starts off at a 77 once you parallel him up to parallel three it's going to be gold fielding the reaction it starts off at a 75 once you super factor him he's gonna have gold reaction the arm strength it starts off at a 76 but if you've been using prince fielder or did i say prince fielder i meant to say chipper jones if you've been using chipper jones non-stop you should know that despite him starting off let's say if you don't have him up to parallel four despite him starting off with silver fielding silver reaction and a 76 arm strength it's still more than good enough to play third base without a problem and anything that he causes defensively his bat 100 makes up for it now the 73 speed is also great speed i'm telling you just having a switch hitter in your lineup is that much better he's probably the third baseman that everybody is going to want at third base and the reasoning behind it is because the other top two have two other primary positions we start off with jackie and i told you all you're going to be seeing jackie a lot in these positional tier list videos and it's because 99 overall jackie robinson is just that good he's one of the top players in the game regardless of the position you put him at at third base his fielding is going to drop by four so it starts off at an 86 it's going to drop down to an 82 it's still going to be gold and then if you take him to third base his reaction will be gold but once you parallel him up to parallel four his reaction is going to be diamond his arm strength is going to be a 70 but it's still going to be good enough and then just like trey turner he compensates for it with the speed that he has but he's a much better defender than trey turner as well it's righty like trey turner as well has better contact against both sides than trey turner and then when we're talking about the power he hits the threshold when we're talking about the vision the man is amazing and he can bunt his life away if you need someone to give you some nice little bunts for base hits and then last but not least as i told you all the number one guy whether you place him at first base or third base he's gonna be the number one guy so if you have this card you're gonna want to find a slot for him either at first base or third base he can't play anywhere else so it's one of the two if you have him at first base then you're having chipper jones at third base and most likely jackie robinson at second base because jackie robinson is the best second baseman as i said previously vladimir guerrero jr i mean what doesn't he give you he gives you the power he gives you the contact the 88 vision is going to translate 75 fielding is reaction 69 arm strength is the downside for him at third base but it's still going to be good enough as i said previously it's going to be good enough don't worry about it even if you play him at third base his fielding takes a hit but it's still silver his reaction takes a hit but it's still silver the 42 speed is that that is, is the only thing that you look at and you're like eh, about but it's still good enough i'm telling you all listen when it comes to vladimir guerrero jr whatever happens defensively he's gonna make up for it with the bat i promise you that this is like the best card in the game when it comes to pure hitting this is the best card in the game there is no card in show zone that has a higher true overall rating than this vladimir guerrero jr when it comes to hitting in this game so trust me if you don't have this card already you don't have to go out and buy it eventually they're going to be bringing the packs a whole lot more often through conquest map inning programs and whatnot and you're going to be able to go ahead and get these cards for absolutely free or for a bargain of a price whenever those new packs come out or whenever those packs come out 
because the prices take a humongous hit. Like when the Home Run Derby and All-Star Game packs came out in the Ronald Acuna program, these packs dropped or these cards dropped to 100K. So that's what you wanna do. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's content, hit that like button or subscribe button. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will catch you all on the next one. Everything else that you need is inside the description. Peace out.